Hello, hello, welcome back guys. Peloton is a company for which we have talked about uh, some time ago. Back then it was uh, very, very expensive and um, as I usually say, I would like to get a much, much deeper discount before I potentially even think about uh, adding some to my portfolio. And uh, this has actually happened with Peloton. If you take a look at our stock analysis chart here, you will see that the stock price has absolutely plummeted 90% down right now from its one year high and you can take a look at the max chart very recent ipo see how the company has been doing pretty much going down and down and down and this is where we could potentially look into getting some stock ourselves of course uh, that is if uh, the financials permit us to do so and we're gonna examine that first off you can take a little bit of a look at the news here peloton has a hardware problem is running out of cash this is what happened, the earnings were not great over here. And if we take a look at this article about Peloton's uh, Peloton burning cash pretty much, you will see that the, uh, the company actually uh, reported uh, what the article says, it's a dismal quarterly financial report and um, sales stumbled 15% from one year ago. Peloton also lost uh, almost 800 million last quarter, which is uh, quite some. It only had less than a billion dollars in cash in the bank at the end of the quarter, which uh, basically allow, uh, le leaves it thinly capitalized, as the CEO says here. And um, as you can understand, this is a company that again has been tumbling. And um, through that tumbling, this is potentially when we would like to buy a company when, again, when there's blood in the streets, this is when we want to be taking action. And right now it looks like as Peloton is actually was actually down 15% in early trading today. It was it was down more than 90% since its all-time high. And uh, again, this is where we potentially take a little bit of a closer look at the company and see what's going on here. So let's take a look at the stock analysis chart. Again, this is a recent IPO. We don't have uh, uh, like a wealth of data to examine, but we still have some data. And uh, you will notice that the P ratio, price to free cash flow ratio, all negative. The company is not really making money. And also they have been diluting shareholders quite some. So that's not a great thing to see. But with this current price, we don't really expect them to keep diluting, of course, because it doesn't make sense. The stock price has been absolutely decimated. And the free cash flow to total liabilities, again, free cash flow is negative. Five-year revenue growth is the good thing about the company, has been increasing revenue very nicely. Net income, though, and free cash flow has been tumbling, and so that's not a great sight. And uh, margins, of course, not great. Return on equity, all these things would be negative because the company is losing money. And if we take a look at the financial statements here, see exactly what's going on with the company, you will see that the, their revenue has been increasing very, very nicely, especially in the uh, pandemic years. And uh, the net income, problematically, is actually down and um, is in the negative. And that's uh, not a pretty sight. That's something that I never like to see. At least it's close to zero, not too far from a zero, not that, not, not that negative. But um, what is interesting here is that uh, the total equity has been increasing. Again, remember, the company has been issuing shares. So that's part of it. It's probably the, more, the biggest reason why they have uh, this extra money over here. You can see it in the additional paid in capital. And if we take a look at the cash flow statement, we're beginning with negative net income, of course. And uh, actually, we are staying with negative cash provided by operating activities. A little bit of investing here going on and quite some uh, financing. The company getting a lot of debt over here financing activities over here 1.24 billion of common stock a lot of uh, a lot of financing through stock and the debt from the company which uh, you know they probably would have to do and you will see that uh, they used to have uh, just a few million back in 2017 right now they're having a little bit more money about uh, about a billion in cash and the free cash flow again has been in the negative it used to be positive back in 2020 but uh, turning back negative after the pandemic and it's actually one of their worst years right now in terms of free cash flow. Now we can take a look at the stock evaluation tool and see what's going on with this company and whether it's uh, it's any worthwhile potentially looking at it. Now the the good thing about this company is the revenue growth. I don't know if this is going to continue at, at, this, ra at this rate because this is an insane rate over here, but we can go with something that's um, uh, much, much lower than what they have been doing. Let's go 10, uh, 13 and 16 here and see how that fares in the next uh, five years. The problem is the net income margin which has been negative at least it's getting close to zero lately so that's a much much better sight to see. Now we still need positive net income in order to be able to uh, to buy this stock at some point 
And so I will have to go marginally positive and I will go something like three, five and seven is what I typically like to do when I'm having non-profitable companies. This one looks like it's getting there. It looks like it's actually a possibility for this company to go towards uh, four, uh, like three percent, four percent in the plus soon, hopefully. But again, we're taking a little bit of a leap of faith here. So there is extra risk. Free cash flow margin, uh, typically we want a company to make to be making like 80, 90%, 100% of uh, margin in terms of their free cash flow compared to net income. We're going to go something like 80, 90, and 100. This is not affecting our results too much because our net income margins are low to begin with. And so this is a percentage of the net income margin. And so this is what makes or breaks our story here. And uh, this actually plays a much, much better role when we have significant net income margins. But in this case, this will be kind of uh, limited in, in the role it will be playing within our projections here. The annual return is 13% uh, what I typically want to be making a year. And let's hit calculate, see where we are with this company. You will see we are sitting at a high of 22 bucks and that, that would be for our net income margin of 7%. Current price is 13, so it's actually significantly lower than our high estimates here. And it's basically, basically almost exactly where our medium estimates are. And so we are looking at Peloton right now, which starts becoming a potential buy. At least uh, it's getting that low in price where it actually starts to become a little bit interesting. And so if it goes down a little bit more, maybe 10 bucks or 9 or something of that sort, the single digits, then it may actually start becoming much, much more interesting for a long term play. And I would look myself to maybe maybe even add a little bit to my portfolio. I'll have to uh, take a look at it again when, th when that happens. But it's very likely. And actually today, I believe the stock was down 15% or even more, like 25% at some point, I believe. But um, right now it's down almost 8%. So I think it was actually down even more than what, it, when you, can, what you can see here in the chart. Uh, so, very interesting. We'll see about this company in the next few, uh, maybe weeks or so see if they continue with a decline and maybe again maybe if they fall in a single digits maybe that would be a very very interesting opportunity right now so thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed interesting one peloton after a long long dip let's see what they are going to be doing and let me know what you think about peloton remember to leave a comment below and if you are interested in the tool of course you can become a patreon and uh, get access to it and use your own projections about any stock that you want to you can find links in the description box below if you're interested. And uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, remember to subscribe. Lots more videos coming your way. And again, thank you for watching this one. And um, in case you enjoy this kind of content, pre please remember to take a look at uh, this other video that I made yesterday. And in this one, I'm talking about Palantir, another very interesting company to take a look at, see what kind of price we're going to be getting it at. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.